now we will create one more example for our construction requirement this is the third thing okay so this is to just understand i am not covering the full concept here i am just showing one behavior also i am explaining the behavior how it is acting why this behavior is happening that's it don't confuse okay till this point clear my everyone yes sir okay now go to our construction requirement construction form okay we we built our form now and we, we also built our uh what we built our applications and modules so all all or anything is fine okay so now um mm, okay so do one thing okay so see here i want to keep closer notes something closer notes okay if it is same maybe just instead of closer notes no just create one field here okay uh, go to table create a field okay on hold region i will say okay i am creating a choice field. okay maybe a text field because choice again we i we, uh, we have to write so many thing now we have to create uh, the choices also it will take some time okay on hold region okay so just submit it okay see uh, on hold region came so now open a record okay so now on hold region it, it came like this i want to keep this on hold region uh, after this one where is that on okay uh, here i i want to keep here okay after state i want to keep it uh, how i can keep it go to uh, top bottom and then go to form layout and configure and form layout right click yeah go to slash bucket and then okay right very good okay so this is the field on hold region okay so on hold region is when the ticket is being changed to on hold okay we need to ask user to fill this one whenever it is on hold then only he needs to write the reason here a proper reason okay if it is not on hold maybe it's a new in progress if it is closed resolved and all we don't care we don't he no need to write okay so the requirement here is in our construction table is okay so i am writing the requirement i think you understood the requirement also can someone able to tell me the requirement uh, if state equal to on hold yeah yeah and then on hold reason then open bracket and then uh, okay you are uh, telling in a code way okay you are we are developers now okay man Okay. <laughs> I, I am writing the business requirement, but you are writing code. the code. Okay, fine. No code. Okay. On hold re uh, reason is uh, equal to mandatory. Yeah. Else, okay. See, this is how the developers yeah. works. Developers thinks. Okay. This symbol is says not not mandatory. Not. Okay, and even we can make it more granular. <laughs> okay, so and here, when we are writing a code, we need to <laughs> write everything. So good. Okay, so this is a proper uh, code, right? Everyone understood, right? So let me write. I don't know coding, okay, but I want uh, the requirement to state in a general terminology. someone told like uh, we are uh, little scared about coding now we are speaking coding good na <laughs> right so yes, uh, <laughs> make the on hold reason field mandatory when state uh, changes to on hold right now this is a business requirement right is that clear is that right yes sir everyone agree 
Yes, Andy. Okay. Now implement this particular requirement. Okay, to make it work. So what I do is, okay, uh, this one not required. This one not required. Okay, go here. Okay, this is our table. Okay, so this one can be done in two ways. Ma. Like UA policy can be navigated in two ways. Go to here, type UA policies, then you will get the UA policy. Okay, just click new and all you can do. Or else, simplest way is go from your table directly. Okay, this is the simplest use, uh, like the simplest way we developers will do generally. Okay, why? Because there is a little advantage. So, see here, I went from table, con configure UA policy, and then I am saying new here. Okay, just keep this page open. Okay, the, what is the advantage? I will tell you. Okay, just keep this page open. And now, from here, just a general navigation, go to UA policy. Okay, and also from here, also you can just say new. Okay, this is also right, but open this page and see. Okay, so this one and this one both are same. Okay, we, we went from table, but we went from general. Here, if you go from general, na, table is you need to type again okay but if you go from table directly the table automatically will come this is one simplest benefit that's it apart from that nothing is different both are same they are both are referring the same table and a new field okay see some sys ui policy dot do sys id equal to minus one okay sys id equal to minus one it should be some somewhere yeah Right now, man, there is nothing difference. So only thing is, it will automatically get the table name. Okay, that is only the difference. Okay. Now, let's finish our requirement. So the short description should be as clear as, as much clear as possible. So I just keep the same thing. Okay. Now order. This can be anything. Orders is again a separate thing. Maybe we can cover it any time. Okay. So in UA policy, okay, there are very, very few important things. One by one, we will see. First thing is, okay, uh, just condition. First important thing is condition. Okay, UA policy is a condition-based UA. Okay, that, okay, maybe you can read here somewhere. Uh, hmm, when the conditions are met. Okay, so the same thing we seen, we discussed. Okay, maybe if we read the de uh, definition, we will get confused. That's how this system definitions are. But we understood it. That I okay, condition state equal to on hold. This is our condition. This is our if condition. Okay, the first important thing is condition. Okay, so we set the condition. We just given a name. Okay, and we don't have anything here, UA policy actions down. First time, save it. Okay, once I save it, I will get UA policy actions here. Okay, save. Right, so same thing. Now it is loaded with some other options. Okay, UA policy actions. UA policy is the main thing. UA policy action is a action that you are doing it. This action. Okay, so just to define the action also, one UA policy can have multiple UA policy actions. Okay, we see in the example, now resolution nodes. Okay, there we have two actions, two fields, two actions. Okay, so next important thing is define UA policy action. Okay, so what is our UA policy action? Making the field on hold region to mandatory. Na? So just to see new. Okay, so when we say new, it is in a same table, okay, and it is a new, it is applying this UA policy action is applying to this UA policy, right? We are in the same. Which field we are at, we are doing a mandatory action to a which field? So the field you need to select here. Okay, what is the field that we need to select here is uh, on hold reason, right? This one. Okay, the, this is one important point in UA policy action. Second important thing is, using UI policy, what are the actions you can do? Okay, you can do three actions using UI policy. Mandatory, okay, 
okay visible okay and read only we do we know this the meaning of this three ma yes sir so we can do three actions ma mandatory visible read only this is the first important thing using ua policy what actions you can do okay on a farm level you can do only these three actions okay so now okay this is the requirement okay what i do here is first is mandatory true yeah i want to make it mandatory also i want to show the field on hold region only when the condition makes true visible also i am keeping it okay if it is other state then i don't show at all because why to show if it is in progress why to show on hold region field you are getting it now ma you got this particular one right i am not showing that particular field in the form if it is not on hold so see on hold region should be okay written only when it is on hold if it is not like on hold why i need to show this one it is occupying my space na no? i won't show also i will hide it you are getting it right so i am doing two actions okay for one field okay mandatory to okay visible to when the condition is true okay so submit it okay so mandatory to visible to now test it okay refresh right see that is not there now what is the condition what is the condition value every time i change something here tell me the condition value okay so what is the condition value is false right. false false right now what is the condition value false and what is the condition value false what is the condition value true true when it is true what is happening the ua policy is triggering and ua policy action is running the ua policy action defined to run with two actions mandatory true visible true so those two came now when the condition false the two actions will do reverse mandatory false visible false you are getting it right how it is working Yes, sir. Everyone, is the functionality how it is working? You all captured it, ma? You got it right. So see again, I am showing when the condition true, the actions that you defined here means true, visible, true. They are working. So it came. Okay, when the condition false, it will do reverse. You no need to again write one more line here, like. okay we no need to create one more ui policy like uh, if it is not on hold okay uh, do like this visible mandatory false visible false we no need to write it okay there is a field see here there is an option here called reverse if false okay this option is taking care of it okay what this one is doing is when the condition is true do the action when the condition is false reverse if false you okay, can do the reverse actions for the same you that you defined it okay reverse the effects of the ua policy actions when the condition evaluates to false so that is the reason every time it is becoming true okay then it is making this true if it is false it is doing the reverse visible false mandatory also false okay now you may get a question okay let's say i will uncheck it and then how it behaves okay if it is unchecked na then see the behavior you will get the exact requirement now okay so see refresh <coughs> so ua policy is created reverse if false unchecked okay unchecked and now state equal to in progress okay this is how it is there okay now on hold condition true okay Ma uh, the ua policy action ran may where it it is making it mandatory visible true okay and ua policy condition false nothing is happening because reverse if false is unchecked you didn't mention you didn't you are not instructing system to do the reverse action right now you got it right yes sir everyone please acknowledge 
Yes, Andy. Disha, you are getting it right? Pratibha Garu, Sindhu Garu? Yes. Yeah. So, see, this is first important point, reverse shift falls. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So, we are also noting some important things, no? Mandatory visible read only. Okay. So, one more simple thing, when you are seeing giveaway policy action, okay, three things you can control. Okay. What are those three things are? Okay. Mandatory, yeah, when you say these three actions, mandatory, visible, read only, these are the primary actions, but for each one, either you can set true, either you can set false, and either you can leave alone. Leave alone means don't do any action. Okay. We are not doing any any specific read only activity now. So we just leave it alone. We are doing either true, either false. If you want to do true, just select true. If you want to don't do it, maybe false. But if you don't have any requirement with any one of leave it alone. Okay, these three values are also important thing. Okay, it is just like this, no need to discuss little deeper. Okay, but most important thing is, first, this one is everyone clear, ma? reverse if false. Can I take it like everyone clear of this one? This is one of the important thing. Yes. yes sir. Okay, second thing is, okay, how... Every time, see here, UA policy, okay, let me make it uh, UA policy action, uh, leave it alone, okay, reverse if false, okay. So, see, we see in this one, but now we are observing, we are discussing, every time, see here, here you are, okay, UA policy is running every time, right, every time it is running, whenever the change is being changed, the field is being changed, it is running, right, even sometimes, okay, let's say you have a backend script, when it is when this one is become true okay make the state field to on hold something some logic is there you are not manually doing but the script is doing backend script whenever this is checked state should be on hold okay either it is a physical activity or backend activity okay but for that UI policy if the condition is true then do this action agree na yes or no this point is clear, ma? Yes. Everyone, please acknowledge. Sindhu Garu. Yes, Garu. sir. Okay. So, why I am telling this one, it, it looks a little confusing, but we will see these kind of things in future, maybe after the class from now. But, there is one thing called on load. Okay. On load of a form means, okay, load, we feel like load means refresh. This is reload. Okay, but a session, the system will consider every field change is a load. Okay, so now something happened, it's a load. Okay, now something happened, it's a load. Okay, every field change, every change in the form is like on load. Okay, so you are, see here, you are seeing the things. Okay, every on load, the condition is checking and the UA policy is running accordingly, right? If it is not on load, na, it, is, it won't check every time, right? Even though if it is true or false, it is checking, na. you are observing it, right? It is checking now, it is checking now, right? It is checking also now, it is also checking now, and it is also checking now also. Right, Nama, you understood? So, it, the UA policy is working on on load, right? Agree? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So, how it is working on on load is, here we have a button. On load equal to true. Okay. Apply the UI policy actions when the form is loaded, when the user changes the value on the form. Okay. So, the meaning of on load is every change of the form. Okay. So, check this one. Do this action whenever this on load happens. That means every time a form is getting validated, do this action. So on load means not reload, but every change in the form. Okay. So see, you are in a UA policy page and you are checking each option here one by one. Okay. Maybe in some special cases you may get a requirement like I don't want to reverse if false. Maybe you can uncheck it, but we should know about it. Na? Maximum by default all this will be checked. Okay. But you will need to know in case we want to make it false. That's what we are discussing. Right? So these two are completed. 
right any questions on these two are so far this is completed okay this is completed any other questions any questions ma no okay so the third important option is inherit okay so what is the meaning of inherit similar sir inheritance is a kind of similarity but similarity is coming from whom to whom inherit is not similar ma the meaning parent of to child is a parent to child yeah. parent to child yeah inheritance is actually similarity is passing from one to other okay ideally parent to child okay the son is similar like his father he inherited some similarities something that that where we use inherit okay he is inheriting the angry from his father right something like this so okay now also here we have inheritance so table that extend the specific table in head the falls so after reading this one can someone able to tell me why this is required why this is not required just try anyone please try so we know now like table child inheritance but why this ui policy have your inheritance anyone please try you all know the answer ui policy is getting inherited from the parent table sir right that is the meaning but explain it that's true my answer is like 100% true but uh, extended table. table example example like uh, i did no sir in the users uh, task extended table is task i took the i took from parent child like uh, task hmm you created a table from task table parent table is task child table is your uh, abc table right yes sir hmm right very good one till this point 100% right now the ua policy is there in which table and where are you inheriting okay so you have two tables now as per your example your uh, experience you have a table that is abc which is called as child table and you also have one more table called parent table that is task table okay from task table you created this child table called abc now we are seeing a ua policy which is there in one of the tables okay and inherited equal to true so where this ua policy is there construction tables I means sale table <laughs> the construction table no ma we are we are discussing some other example okay but sale table right that's what the answer is uh, it should come from parent table that's right, sir so it should be coming from parent table so the ua policy is there in parent table that's what the answer is right ha oh, it is uh, it is extending from the parent table sir yes sir okay ma so as per your example the table is a task table or a u abc table like the table that you created task table sir task table so that is parent table yes sir okay that is true right okay what this meaning is okay we will just discuss in another way okay okay how many got this particular statement how many got this uh, this this discussion what is inherited from sindhu garu okay how many not get it didn't get it why ma please please confirm okay you didn't get it right someone who is that uh actually me and prashanti but uh, i get little bit from the parent table from parent it's okay, uh, is it's the okay it's okay look okay, let's say okay see consider like you have a parent table okay called task table okay and you created two tables okay and also there are around 25 tables are there okay so total 27 tables are there they are called as child tables agree till this point everyone agree yes okay so this 26 27 tables will be having the same kind of fields like uh, state on close region resolution notes resolution code and all that is a, that is the reason we create a child table from parent table in order to get the image of it right the second statement is that a, this is also clear 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Now consider like for two fields there is a UA policy in the table, parent table. Okay, UA policy is like maybe resolution mandatory, resolution code mandatory. Okay. So now if inherit equal to true for this one, okay. If inherit equal to true for this one, which is there in task table, means parent table, it also passes, it also applies to all 27 child tables. Okay. If it is false, it will work only for task table. It will not inherit to child tables. This is the meaning. This is what uh, Sindhu Garu was telling. Because Sindhu Garu created a table, we created a construction table, not from task table. We created by our own. It's a fresh table. But she created one table, maybe ABC table, from task table. Then she got the image of task. Okay. If, if there is a UA policy in task table level, which is marked as inherit equal to true, that UA policy automatically works for task, uh, the child table that she created. So this is what the discussion. Now every, everyone understood 100%. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Right? Ma Sindhu Garu, is that clear, ma? Sindhu Garu, Prashanti Garu, Shila Garu, Pratipa Garu, Srinu Garu, Ma Adisha. Yes, sir. Right. So inherit, okay, not only here. From now, wherever you see inherit, the option, if it is checked, means the things are coming from parent will be applied to child also. If it is unchecked, it applies only to the parent level. It won't inherit to child level. Okay, so this is the third one, and the last one is global. Okay, so if we are able to complete this particular one, we are done with UA policy. Okay, so what is global? Okay, so it is simple. Uh, maybe in order to show me the global, okay, in here we have only one view, no? so let me do one thing. Give me one second. I can't show in our table because we have only one view here, okay, that is the default view. Uh, but I can show the same global in incident table level. Okay. So see, maybe I uh, we will cover this view maybe tomorrow or somewhere. Okay, but there is something called views. Okay, this one we touched it. Okay, view. Okay, based on view, we can show the available to see here. If it is default view, this is how the farm design is set up. So it is showing like this. If it is mobile view, maybe if I see the same record in a mobile, it shows like this. And it is not showing all the fields, but it is showing the fields which are uh, which are configured in the farm design. Okay, if it is something else, self service view, okay, the farm, the design it is, it is like this. So there are different different views where we create and. We will assign this view to different different roles so that let's say ITL people will see one way, admins will see other way. Okay, mobile people, if someone wants to open it in mobile, they will see like this. So there is a term called views. Okay, in incident page we have these many views, but in our table we have not created any view. Okay, so maybe we can create a view, but it takes a little time. Let's create a view. Okay, so view, farm design, go to farm design. Right. And here table, okay. Now here new. This is view. Okay, we have only one view that is default view here. Okay, construction view. Okay, create it. So once you create it, then it is taking the same image. Then I don't want to keep everything here. Okay, so I will just remove a uh, few things easier, like uh, number is required, visiting time, okay, order notes is not required. Okay, I'm just removing random lemma. Created is not required. Active is not required. Request type state is not required. Okay, construction manager may be required. Okay, so administrator is not required. Okay, and I will make it one view. Okay, save it. But state, where is the state? State is required. Okay, state is required for us. On hold reason is also required for us. Okay, yeah, make it right now. I created one more view now. Refresh it. Okay, so see here now default view is there. This is how the farm 
form shows in a default view and if you see other view construction view based on the configuration of co uh, view it shows like this maybe view view okay maybe we would have given just uh, construction view came automatically okay this prefix suffix whatever it is but this is view right now okay till this point is clear ma view creation it's simple one it's not a big thing simple but you understood it right what is view that is the main important thing like here we have nine or ten views in our table we have only two views is that clear ma yes no please confirm yes yes sir huh. now okay just to see this one it is it won't take much time okay here okay global checked okay maybe if you understood if you want to understood this one now see if checked ua policy applies to all the form views otherwise it applies to view specific so uncheck it okay maybe i need to refresh it in order to get that uh, view applied okay so see i will uncheck to understand better if i uncheck it okay it will ask you to select a view okay what does it means is if, if you see incident table now you see nine options here okay as it is having only one view it is showing one one here okay so view specific means now if i select and save it now this particular ui policy will work on only one view it won't work on default view okay if i select global means all it will work on all the views but if i specifically mention any view okay it works on only that that view only it will not work for all views so now if i select construction view and then save it and it will only work on construction view so when you are here then only that particular ui policy will work okay so if it is not a construction view it is something else view it won't work okay if you select this option okay if selected the ui policy applies to all form views otherwise it will work on a view specific is that clear ma yes sir yeah so these are the four important points and this is all about ui policy